Watkins, the former NEC All-Rookie selection who scored 12 points a game last year is in possession. Cam Parker guarding him. The step back three is good. Jaleel Jenkins. Just didn't work out. Parker gets it in to Anasiki. The big man with a soft touch off the window for two. Actually first in the conference in assist to turnover ratio, 1.1. Kick out from Anasiki to Sean Owen for three, and he bangs it. Jenkins running the point. Holloway a three. It goes, front rim, and then the friendly roll as it just sat there. Feverish pace early. Ozier, fake the three. Now he penetrates, drives, and scores. Outside for Sean Hohen. Hohen drives, scoops. It's good, and the Pioneers go on top. Those are the hustle plays that both teams are going to need to make in the rebound game to try to hang on to possessions. And Kim and LaRose, no problem there. Slowing down the pace of play. They're utilizing their passes. They're work, looking to open up the Fairleigh Dickinson defense. Aaron Clark behind the screen. Williams, wide open. Bangs the three. And he's gonna take a three. And nail it! Camp Parker, pressure D from the Knights as they attack the ball out near half court. Malone Key, up and under, beautiful bucket. They want to keep it a quick game going back and forth. Their head coach, Greg Herenda, again telling his athletes, don't ever bore me, keep it going at 110%. Aaron Clark, not boring. For Caleb Bishop, taking on Spellman. Spins him and it's blocked. Rejected by Jarrell Spellman. Malone Key takes a look at the shot clock and drives. Gets it underneath, sky hook. Count the basket for Oscar Okeke. Now, Hohen finds a seam underneath. And a sickie, the lay-in. Sean Hohen gave it to him with a beautiful dish. He has that use it or lose it timeout. Parker, uncontested, but he missed the layup. And a sickie bails him out with the offensive rebound and the putback. Stepping inside the arc for the jump shot. Darnell Edge knocks it down. The Pioneers looking to go. No look, there's EJ Anasicki with a two-hand rim-punishing dunk. Ozier driving, delays, and scores. Kareem Ozier. Holloway feeds it inside. Bishop goes to the left hand, off the glass for two. At FDU and at CCSU. A three is good. Out of the timeout by Darnell Edge from the top of the key. Yet they lead 41-34. A three is good. Brandon Powell, the freshman from Middletown, New York, averaging only 1.3 points a game in seven minutes. And Kenan LaRose comes back. Darnell Edge gets it underneath for Holloway. He delays and goes to the right hand for the lay-in. Aaron Clark faked the three. LaRose for three from the corner with a big make. Holloway getting it inside. Powell, a deep three, and he makes it. Sacred Heart starting to fall in love with that three. They're six for 17 from downtown. Bishop in rhythm for three. Just under 43%, 42.9% from downtown. Ozier, the answer. Pioneers trying to hang on to their lead. They don't want the Knights to catch up, and the, they've done a pretty good job so far. Xavier Malone, key from the corner for three. Sean Hohen finds a hole in the zone and kicks. Ozier, another three, and another fake for Kurt K.O. Missed the three. It's on the floor, and a sickie, the rebound, and the putback for two. For 40 minutes, and then he said he always likes to add on, if not more. Caleb Bishop, <laughs> three, no good. And it, FDU has the rebound, Holloway snatches it down. They got a man open underneath. Bishop lays it in, and we're tied at 55. Ozier's pass, Parker needs to save it near the timeline, and he just did. 10 to shoot. Parker spins, what a move for the lead! Good job there, Parker. Speeding by everyone. Jenkins answers, blowing down the lane, tying it at 59, 136 to go in regulation. And EJ Anasicki is swarmed, he gets it on. Cam Parker finds an open Kenan LaRose on the fast break to lay it in. Forget about winding the clock down. In a battle of two second place teams, moves past FTU with the win tonight on Coach Bike Court. 69-63, Sacred Heart beats FTU.